Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to set up a offload of data using Data Shuttle. So let's dive in. Here I've got a file. It's got over 500 lines of data and a series of columns with information. What I've previously set up on this is with a date column, I've got a little helper column at the end to mark whether it's today. And you'll see that used as part of the filter. Um, I use this because it's an easier way of using the filter. So let's open Data Shuttle. It signs me in and it looks and it shows me the workflows I've got already. In this case, I don't have any setup, so I'm going to open one. Choose to offload grid data, click next, and I'm going to find the file that I want to download from. So in this case, it's my training diary, and it gives me one choice in this case to replace the rows of data. So I'm going to select next, and where do I want to save this to? I can either save it to another Smartsheet or to OneDrive or Google Drive. So in this case, I'm going to save it to my Google Drive. It's looking for external account. I'm going to log in. So already logged in. Just checking I'm logged in. There we go. And to my home, I'm going to get it to use my Smartsheet folder. And I'm going to do this as a demo download file. Now I can save it either as a CSV or as an Excel file. In this case, I want it to be CSV, so it's easier for me to upload into another system. So I click Next, and in this case, I'm going to add some logic. I only want it to download the information I want, so I'm going to scroll across to that last column today equals true. And then it asks me, of the columns, what columns do I want to map to what? Well, as it's a new file, I'm just going to ask it to copy all across. However, I don't want all the columns here, so I'm going to get rid of cadence, elevation gain, speed, speed, time, and just go down to distance. So I'm going to select next to run on schedule. I'm actually going to ask it to run every day of the week. And I'm going to get it to run at 1 a.m. in the morning, which means wrong. I'm going to get it to run at 11 p.m. in the evening, which means it'll pick up all the data from everyone. And that's all that happens each day. Bear in mind the time is UTC, so you need to adjust accordingly to the time zone you're in. Select Next. And I'm going to call this Demo Download. That's the name when I look into Data Shuffle here. Yeah. So you see it's now created. Now just to give you an idea, this is my Google Drive. And I've got one file on here currently. I don't have the one which we just created. So if we go back, it's scheduled to run at 11 o'clock tonight. Well, I want to check it's working, so I'm going to tell it to run now. There we go. And refresh to see results. It tells information where it's last run. And if I click on here, it shows me it completed five seconds ago. And if I click on the down arrow, it shows me it added nine rows and it ignored 541 that it didn't filter out. So we know it's worked. If we go to my Google Drive, we can see now this has appeared. And if I double click, you can see the information that's appeared in it. So it's downloaded the nine rows which we'd asked about, and then it's all ready to go um, on that side. So there's the file. There's the data shuttle, and it's ready and will run now based on the schedule. So I hope that's been useful. My name is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. If you've got any other questions regarding Data Shuttle or other applications from Smartsheet, please let me know.